What's up everyone, welcome back. Glad y'all can make it out. So, I promise you guys, next video, we're gonna get into some playing, I promise you. But, before we get into all that, I think it's super important that we tackle my equipment. So basically we got the trombone stand. I mean, pretty self-explanatory. Like, trombone stands, you can get them at like any music store really, but, you know, keeps the trombone up nice. So you don't always have to like leave it in a case or whatever. Super convenient, especially if you're like at home or whatever you're doing. So that, there it is right there. And once again, any music store, you can get one of those. So then we're gonna go over to like some of the stuff that I use when I uh, record. So this is my mic, it's an Audix. That mic looks like this, it's a clip-on. Um, this part goes onto your bell. I can show you guys how that works in a second. Basically, you'll plug this in here, it's an interface. This is my Behringer interface, it's really, really good, it works really, really well. This mic is by Audix, Audix clip-on. Uh, the exact model number is right here, APS 910. And then we got a sweet mic right here um, for my camera that I use a lot. The only thing I would say I'm missing is my laptop, which I don't have here at the moment. Um, but basically like when I record, so I'll plug that in there, this basically plugs in your computer. For those of you who don't know, I use Pro Tools and luckily thanks to Berkeley and stuff, the school in which I go, uh, they kind of hooked it up with Pro Tools through like the package that we got or whatever. So that's what I use to record. Um, it works really, really well. Highly recommend it. Yeah, that's, that's the DAW that I use to record. It's still beautiful outside though. I'm gonna go get changed. We got some hours of sunlight left, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys the rest of the stuff we got going on. This whole filming thing is so fucking awkward. We're basically like on B campus right now, but all these sidewalks, a lot of kids are getting out of class and shit. I literally can't film over there right now. I'm literally scared, bro. It's just like, I don't know. I'm doing my trombone vlogs and some shit. People are probably like, what the fuck is this dude doing? Like, that's the thing is, I probably shouldn't worry about what those people think. Like, look at look at how beautiful it is though. So like, right now, would be, me like coming back from class or whatever. Highly recommend, like if you're in high school or middle school or elementary school, whatever you're in, you wanna get yourself one of these right here. For like the longest time, I remember myself just like bringing my trombone case or like just carrying like a trombone case around. It was super awkward, like I just remember people looking at me and shit. I don't know, when it's on your back, it's like more of a vibe. People can kind of like tell you're up to something, you know what I mean? Rather than like carrying like a weird shaped looking thing. This horn, you can carry it with like a handle, but I've never done that before. I don't think anyone actually does that, so. Something to keep in mind. So yeah, basically with my case, it's only a couple parts. Um, I'm gonna show you right now, so you guys can check it out. two parts of this thing. So this piece right here comes off so you can replace this. This is basically just like the straps on your back. To fasten your seatbelt is to insert the flat metal and into the buckle and pull off the straps are tight. standard trombone case it's not leather I'm trying to get a new one like soon like real soon but but yeah it gets the job done it uh, it's comfortable I've had like no issues with it and yeah the only thing that you have to worry about like wearing is like the straps but super easy to, to get new ones I think they're like 10 15 bucks or something like that so super easy to get new ones you know once you get your straps on like it's pretty much all you need Thank y'all for watching. If you're new,
smash that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video.